Hey lovely people, Howie here with another Jiu-Jitsu video and today I want to talk to you about towels um, and grip strength obviously, uh, you've looked at the title of the video, you'll know what this is about but towels are incredibly important and incredibly useful if you've ever seen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy or read it or listened to it you will know that it's incredibly useful, you can use it as a makeshift sail to keep you warm as a blanket and you can use it in one of my favorite ways is to wrap it around your face and to shut the entire world out like so other than that my favorite way to use a towel is for grip strength and in today's video that's exactly what we're going to look at now not every exercise i've done i've got i've put in this video is going to use a towel for for these purposes but however you as you'll see i do use a towel for quite a lot of them and um some of you may have already used these exercises before you might already be used to them uh, i've just tried to adapt them um using the towels mostly um just so we can really work that grip strength because it's something to really grip into really work that now a lot of these exercises can be done in what's called an isometric contraction which is just holding the weight so i mean with almost all of these exercises if you just hold the weights whether that be with or without the towel or when we're doing the dead hang for example or the pull-ups just holding that position without the towel is going to work your grip strength and doing pull-ups will work your grip strength but by adding the towel we're going to get more and again that isometric holds really really powerful really powerful when we're doing um working on our grip strength um uh, and it's uh you know you don't even need a weight i mean you could fold up a towel and just grip and just grip and just grip and you can do it on both hands just this in itself is going to work your grip strength if you just hold it but Without further ado, why don't we get on and uh, I'll show you what the Hitchhiker's Guide to Grip Strength is all about. And so up first, we have deadlifting. And this is just great on its own, there's no need, no need to adapt this exercise. And a deadlifting, whether this be with a bar or dumbbells, this is going to work your grip strength having to resist gravity with your hands. This is exactly the way we can work grip strength. By resisting the force of gravity against the nice heavy weights in our hands. Try and keep your back nice and straight, stick that bomb out. So next, we're going to involve a towel, and this is going to be shrugs, and on its own, again, for the same reason deadlifting works, this is going to work your grip strength, just holding that, res that weight, resisting it, and falling to the ground. If you want to make this harder, uh, you can wrap some towels around the uh, the handles of the uh, dumbbells and you can either make that grip wider or you can do as I'm doing here just slightly change the position of the hands but really having to grip hold of those towels you can also do this again with some lighter dumbbells if you can get a nice wide open handed grip that is also going to work for grip strength and essentially you can do the same with car phrases. The principle is identical. 
just holding the weight with the heavy dumbbells or a barbell, just holding that nice heavy weight, it's going to be working that grip strength. You want to work it a little bit harder, you can wrap those towels around it again and we can achieve exactly what we did with the shrugs. As you can see here. And I'm using a couple of tea towels in these. You can use any towel that you have available. The thicker it is, the harder it will be to grip and the more that will work your grip strength. Moving on, we are now going to look at some pull-up bar based exercises. Now these aren't going to be pull-ups, this is the dead hang and an L sit and they're basically just two variations of the same exercise. Now you can grip these in different ways, here I have wrapped a towel around the pull-up bar and I am gripping nice and close trying to hang on and that's really going to work that grip strength because you're going to be having to grip hard to hold all that weight off the ground and you can also if you want to work your abs bring your legs up into an L sit position this is also going to work back and shoulders as well but your grip strength as well is going to be one of the most important things here in holding that position. Now as you see here I can do this in a chin up or a pull up position both of which are going to work with grip strength because we have to resist against gravity and our entire body weight. And now we're going to look at some pull up variations and the idea here is much like we were doing with the dead hang and the L sit, I'm just going to use a towel that I've wrapped around, it's really going to work that grip strength. Now we can also, using the towel in a similar position, wrap our hands around the towel and the bar, making it wider. And when that, when the object we have to grip is wider, we have more strength to hold on. And that works our forearms and our grip strength more. You can also do this with a wide pull up grip. Again, using that towel to make the, the diameter of the handles wider, making it harder to grip and therefore working our grip strength even more. And I do love pull-ups and I do love working grip strength. And so we're now going to move on and look at some shoulder based exercises which are also going to work our grip strength which are lat raises and front raises. Now just like I showed on the shrugs um, and calf raises, we're going to grip some smaller dumbbells. And we can also really hold and resist as we do so, so we don't actually have to do too much of a, a movement, a dynamic movement, we can do an isometric contraction and that's really going to work that grip strength, holding it out against gravity and using those shoulders. And finally, what we're going to look at is a, I guess a basic exercise, um, which is your forearm curls. And this is a bicep curl, the hands point the other way, working our grip strength. So, and we're really having to resist that because of our hands, if we open up, we drop the dumbbell straight away. Whereas the other way, our hands are working, or in the way of the dumbbell and gravity. So you have to grip harder to do the curls. Now here, I do have 
some fat grips. Now you can you can do all these exercises with fat grips. If you don't have fat grips, you can do hit what I've done here, which is much like what I did on the pull-up bar, which is going to be wrap that towel around and make that wider. And again, you can double it up and make it even harder still and really get most out of this exercise. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you find it useful and just take some of these these um, ad adaptations and why not I just add them to your routine? Just try doing these to work your grip strength additionally. Now, I didn't really talk about this at the beginning, but grip strength is really important. Like, really important. It's not quite as important as your core, but you could almost argue that it is. Without the ability to grip, you can't lift anything. So we all have an innate about amount of grip strength as it is. But we really want to work that because we want to be able to lift heavier things and grip grip hold of things harder. Now if you do climbing or bouldering, this, this is going to be fantastic. This is going to be a great thing to do, especially as everything's closed and now we can, you know, we can go outside and we can climb. But as a nice exercise that you can do at home, another way to work your grip strength. If you haven't got a grip strength trainer, one of those Grip strength trainers. Yeah, I think I'm sure you know. I'm, I'm looking around because I've got one somewhere, but oh, one of these. If you don't have one of these, then uh, maybe try these. And like grip strength is one of those things you want to look like Popeye. You want to improve that grip strength because all of all grip strength really is like is located in your forearms. Um. So yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this again today. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and all that business, and leave a comment down below. Um, and if there's any, again, if there's anything you'd like me to, to show you or want, want to talk about, just drop a comment, and I'll see what I can do. But stay strong, stay safe. Until next time, guys.